Glad you're with us here for the Retirement Education Hour. Hi, everyone. Megan Mozak, and it's always great to be back in the studio with financial instructors Kurt Cassidy and Dr. Paul Mettler. Kirk and Paul, they're both with the Retirement Education Foundation. And the foundation, well, it's got some exciting news. And if you're listening today from either the state of Michigan or Missouri, well, I think we can all get excited about the fact that this foundation is now the proud partner of Mizzou Athletics. And, you know, for all of us here in Mizzou country, Tiger country, this is a pretty awesome partnership, Kirk and Paul. Yeah, we're really excited about it. It's another partnership in a long list of uh, partnerships we uh, hope to continue to build upon in in the, you know, of course, with the desire to continue to educate those people within 10 years of retirement through retirement to have that really special retirement that they've all earned. So we think it's going to be a great partnership. Uh, we're really looking forward to being t- uh, teaching our eight-hour courses at the University of Missouri um, and continue to teach at the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, Oakland University. We're, we're, we're really excited about all of our partnerships and, and all the great work we've been doing for over a decade. So it's exciting news. That, that, that one's new, and we're, we're really happy uh, to be partnered with them. It's a great institution. So looking forward to the future. Yeah, talk about a great institution uh, is right. Uh, the University of Missouri, storied history. Love that you're proud partners now with Mizzou Athletics. Talk about a rich sports history. And I know this isn't sports talk. We can go that route, but um, uh, we'll try to contain some of that. But we're really excited. And, you know, you mentioned the University of Missouri. And if you're listening today from the great state of Missouri, of course, Columbia College, Stevens College, other locations as well for these deep dives into retirement planning, these retirement planning courses, really master's level courses. And uh, just love to see how this is expanding, Kirk and Paul, because it is, as you said, Kirk, it's all about really setting that foundation for a great retirement. It starts with that education. We're going to do a little bit of that on the show today. And Paul, I'm excited you're with us the, today on the program because of your background in psychology. You know, we want to talk about this market volatility and market volatility. It's with us, whether we like it or not. But that roller coaster, it can really start to affect our emotions. And this is something you say we, we need to be wary of, right? It is, Megan. Look, any of our listeners today, through your retirement, over the next 25, 30 years, you should expect to experience four to seven major market events. And so the key is, how do you manage market volatility from a asset protection or income perspective? And it starts with managing your emotions. But again, to be able to manage your emotions effectively, but it, which in, in a period of time, which is going to be very different for people, right? As you transition from working to retirement, this will be the first time in your lives that you'll have to pay yourself a paycheck every two weeks or once a month. No one else is going to pay you a paycheck. So whatever you have, it's got to last you for the rest of your life. So your relationship with money as you age will evolve and you will become more and more fearful, more and more vulnerable. And the data proves this, Paul, the data tells us that when people die, they still have over 80% of what they originally retired with saved. In other words, they're so afraid, Paul, that they're not spending money. Yeah. You know, we often talk about, you know, what are the greatest risks in retirement? And I think People naturally assume the greatest risks are, you know, spending it all and running out at some point. And, and again, for, for our listeners, more often than not, the biggest risk is underspending. And, and a lot of it relates to this topic today, which is how do you manage your emotional, your, your, your emotional world? It's, Kirk, I, I, Megan, I wish it was as easy as to say, don't react, right? Wouldn't it be nice if we can just tell people, don't become fearful, don't react. Don't get anxious. It's not that easy. And today we're going to talk about some of the things that you can do that will help you manage your emotions and not react in a bad way and ultimately to help your retirement. Paul, it starts with education. That's where it starts. It's why we teach an eight-hour course taught over two evenings or one full Saturday. And we teach them at all these major universities in your area. All you have to do to attend is make a $29 donation to charity. Go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. You know, Kirk, you know, I I think, 
you know, we see this. It, we, we're talking about, you know, how do you manage market volatility? And, and it really starts with how do you manage your own emotional volatility, meaning how do you not react when you shouldn't? And I think the first thing that people really need to realize, if you have not retired, if you're still working, getting a paycheck, right? I, I, we know that you're proud, that you didn't overreact, that you didn't panic, you know, during 2007, 2008, you didn't panic during the COVID pandemic, but, but you will feel very differently, right? People feel really different when they're paying themselves, when they're not getting that paycheck. And I think most people who haven't retired don't appreciate how different it feels when the market's crashing and you're not getting that paycheck. So I think today's subject is really important to help people who want to retire. We know we're going to have more market volatility in the future. And what are the things that you have to do when you will want to panic when you retire and you don't get that paycheck? Paul, we know the data tells us in the next segment, I'll, we'll share some of this data. We know how people in retirement respond and react during times of market volatility. So we know that your every time we have a, a short-term market event, you're going to reduce your spending. You're going to shut down. You're going to be fearful. You're going to make irrational emotional decisions. And we will give you the data that proves that because here's the thing. We know who our listeners are and most of our listeners have been very successful. They're professors at the university, work at the university. They're engineers, CEOs, CFOs, CPAs. We know who's listening to our shows. We know that most people listening to our show have anywhere between a million and $10 million saved for retirement. We know you think you're going to be a disciplined investor and you're not going to overreact in retirement. Please hear us when we say our fear for most of our listeners, at least our fear for most of the people who are attending our courses at the universities is not that you're going to outlive your money. Our fear for you is you're going to way underspend what you otherwise could be spending. And so what we're going to talk about today are how to educate yourself so that you can spend more aggressively in retirement and not overreact every time there's a market event. That's a big focus in our class. Of course, we spent a couple hours literally on taxes, showing you how to save hundreds of thousands of dollars in taxes throughout retirement. All of it comes down to income planning and managing where you're taking your income from. We're going to walk us through that. But you need to educate yourself to understand that your retirement is different than your friends, your coworkers, or what the herd or anyone that's writing an article is telling you. So attend one of these eight-hour courses at one of these major universities. If you'd like to register, all you have to do is go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. And we're back with Kirk and Paul right after this. We're glad you're with us for the Retirement Education Hour, and it's great to be here with Kirk Cassidy and Dr. Paul Mettler. Kirk and Paul, they're financial instructors with the Retirement Education Foundation. And we have been mentioning that the foundation, well, it's growing and they're expanding their offerings and these courses. These courses, again, are like master's level courses. And they are deep dives into all things retirement planning. As you know, things have evolved in the world of retirement planning. It does take quite an education, quite a foundation to have that ideal retirement. And we want you there. We want you to attend and you can get a front row seat. I want to give you both the website and the phone number. If you'd like to connect, find out more, get registered today, go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. You can also call to register 800-240-8981. That's 800-240-8981. These courses are taught in the great state of Missouri and Michigan, and I want to give you those locations. Of course, we've got that proud partnership with Mizzou Athletics, so that means these courses are taught at the University of Missouri, also Columbia College and Stevens College. In the state of Michigan, you can attend at the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, Novi and Troy campuses, or Oakland University. And again, go to that website for more information and to register today. Seats do fill up quickly. Ladies and gentlemen, go to retirementplanning.edu. Dot O-R-G. We're talking today about our emotions in light of market volatility, you know, the up and down, the roller coaster of the market. And I want to ask you, Kirk and Paul, as we continue this conversation, how do people typically respond to this type of volatility once they're retired? 
Well, I'm going to share some of the statistics around how people respond. But when I do this, and we've talked about this in our shows before, the difference is we have an eight-minute segment to explain things to you, what, six eight-minute segments? When we're in the class, we have eight hours to help you, almost reprogram you in terms of how you think about money so you better react properly to give you the retirement you want. Look, we know that the financial service industry for years has been conditioning you and messaging you that you need to protect your principal in retirement no matter what. No matter what, protect your principal. And they've also convinced you that when we have short-term major market events or political events and not liking who's being elected, we will then reduce our spending. They've taught you to cut back on your spending during times of market volatility. We teach in that class, you don't need to do that. We teach in in the class that a controlled spend down of your principal is fine as long as you have specific levers in your plan that you can pivot to during these times of market volatility. And as a result, we'll talk a lot about this, Paul. We're teaching in the class how people can take withdrawal rates in their 60s, early to mid 60s, at six, seven, eight, nine percent per year withdrawal rate. So if you have two million dollars saved to retirement, you can take one hundred and forty to one hundred and sixty thousand dollars a year with zero chance of outliving your income. But you have to have the right levers in place and understand how to respond and react during these different times, these different these four to seven major market events you will be confronted with. So uh, before I give you the statistic and before I turn this over to Paul, one more thing. I want you to think at the back of your mind, and you're probably asking yourself, why does everybody tell us in every article I read, every book I read, every advisor, financial person I talk to, Why does everyone tell me to protect my principal and spend less when the market is volatile? In the back of your mind, anytime you hear someone in the financial service industry tell you anything, remember, the less you spend, you, the retiree or person approaching retirement, the less you spend, the more the financial service industry or that advisor makes. The less you spend, the more they make. They are incentivized to convince you to spend less. And I will prove that you guys who are really disciplined investors who've saved well and have done well, why you're going to respond differently in retirement. We know that over 60% of the people in 2008 panicked and went to cash. 60% of retirees panicked in 2008 during the financial crisis and went to cash. We know that 35% of baby boomers panicked in March during COVID. Right at the bottom, 35% of retirees panicked during COVID. We know in 2022, we don't have the specific numbers in terms of percentage, but we know it's greater than 50% of people, we don't know specifically yet what it is, panicked in 2022 after we had the markets go down, the average portfolio was down 23%. These are really bad reactions to have during times of market volatility. You can't panic. We'll teach you what you should do, but that is a bad response, Paul. And it's natural, isn't it? I mean, it's behavioral. Why wouldn't they? Yeah, no, it is behavioral. And, you know, like everything in our industry, everything's been studied. And, you know, there's a lot of science behind this. A lot of people have spent a lot of time trying to understand this. But the one thing we do know is is that most people, and I think people listening can relate to this, most of us, most people, most consumers react exact opposite as how they should, right? Most people, what they do is, you know, when, when there's euphoria and, and they hear about a stock and they think it's, you know, it's a great stock and it sounds great and everyone's excited about it, that's when everyone buys and it's exactly when you shouldn't buy, right? We know historically, right? We know historically when consumer confidence is high, right? When everyone's excited, everyone thinks a stock is great, usually, ultimately that following year, the stock goes down significantly, right? We know when consumer confidence is low, when people aren't excited about a stock, the following year, that stock, those stock returns are much higher, right? So the problem is we all get excited when we hear something good and we jump in and, and, and we all know you're not supposed to buy high, but that's what happens. People react emotionally rather than strategically. And a lot of it has to do with getting educated. Well, it's behavioral. There's a whole division that uh, there's billions of dollars being spent on behavioral finance, right? And so, you know, herd mentality, right? Comes to mind when you start talking about, you know, uh, what you just referenced. 
There's there's also confirmation bias. So if I believe something, then I'm going to listen to people providing information that reaffirms my beliefs so I can say, see, I was right. So there's all these behaviors that you're trying to navigate when someone else isn't paying you a paycheck anymore. And the information you're consuming is it requires so much trust because you really, really don't have a deep education around income planning, tax planning. That's what's going to drive success. It's not what you invest in. It's actually that's going to drive your success in retirement. So it's managing your emotions. So this is why you need to attend one of our eight-hour courses taught at major universities, just like the University of Missouri or University of Michigan in your area. There's major universities. We're streaming them live from the university if you can't attend in person. All you have to do is go to retirementplanningedu.org, make a $29 donation to charity to attend. Retirementplanningedu.org. Back with Kirk and Paul right after this. Always a pleasure to be alongside financial instructors, Kirk Cassidy, Dr. Paul Mettler, both with the Retirement Education Foundation and the foundation, of course, now the proud partners of Mizzou Athletics. And with this partnership, we're also excited to announce that the foundation is teaching these retirement planning courses at the University of Missouri. Very convenient for those of you listening today from the state of Missouri, Tiger Country. Uh, We're going to make this very simple for you to have a front row seat to all things retirement planning, what it takes to retire successfully here in the 21st century. And there's a lot to know, a lot to learn. So these These courses go deep. These are eight-hour courses designed to help you understand everything that's involved. It really is an education. And so we want you there. We want to give you the website. It's retirementplanningedu.org. If you're in the state of Michigan, keep in mind these courses are held at the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, both campuses, Novi and Troy, or Oakland University. Plenty of locations there. Plenty of locations in Missouri as well, including Columbia College, Stevens College. Check that website for more location details and times and dates. Go to retirementplanningedu.org. You can also call to get registered right now, 800-240-8981. That's 800-240-8981. We've been having a great discussion about how sometimes our emotions... They can really interfere when that market is going up and down. That volatility can make us anxious. And we want to keep our emotions steady throughout this process so that we do have a successful retirement. We're going to get back to that here in just a moment. I want you to keep in mind, you can go back and listen to this entire program and listen to past episodes. You can find it wherever you find your favorite podcast. Simply search for Retirement Education Hour. Again, the name of the show, Retirement Education Hour. Just search for that and you can sift through our library. Listen, share with a friend. Okay, Kirk and Paul, so let's talk, just going back to the emotions. Let's say as an investor, as a retiree or soon to be retiree, I've managed my emotions, right? I've gotten them in check. What else do I need to have a successful retirement? Well, so again, a little unconventional from what people are hearing regularly every day. And and again, as you listen to our radio show, and I am proud to say now, in terms of our podcast, thousands of people are now listening to our podcast, which is remarkable. We're just thrilled so many people are catching on and listening and, and hopefully changing their retirements. But especially if you come to the class, you're going to hear us consistently talk differently with a different message than you're hearing from the rest of the financial service industry because because we're a charity, right? We're a national charity teaching you advanced master's level retirement income planning. That's what we're teaching. And we're teaching at universities all over the country now. So Our incentive is not to get you to spend less so we can make more. We're a charity. Our goal is to help you spend more and have the financial service industry make less at the end of the day. And so one of the things that we talk about in the class is how you're, when you retire, you're not, another way to look at this than saying I'm retired is that you're you're almost, you're not retired. You still need a paycheck. You still need income. You just become self-employed. Now you are working for yourself. And so you have to make sure you're getting a paycheck every month to sustain your lifestyle. And when someone else was paying you, 
every single month. You did not adjust your lifestyle every time something short-term happened in the market, in the economy, in politics, in geopolitical issues. You didn't change your lives or what you spent just because of a short-term event. You continued living because you are going to continue getting the same paycheck. You need to make sure that your retirement plan has the ability to continue to give you that same paycheck. You're self-employed now. You have to pay yourself. Without exception, you're not going to change it. It doesn't matter what the market does or who's being elected. You have to be able to continue to pay you the same amount as always. And the only way, the only way you're going to do that, and this is the secret to retirement, and it's not what the financial service industry is going to tell you. It's not what you invest in that's going to drive your success in retirement. It's where you take your income from, what accounts, what investments, what tax registrations, where are you taking your money from during times of market volatility? So instead of trying to manage your investments around volatility, what we teach in the class is you're going to manage your income, where you take your income from during different uh, market volatility. This eliminates the number one risk to your retirement plan. This eliminates something called sequence of returns risk. If you don't know what that is, go to our website and look at the webinar or interactive calculators on sequence of returns risk. Because if you can manage sequence of returns risk and just change the account you're pulling your money from at different market conditions, then you can take out withdrawal rates of six, seven, eight, nine percent withdrawal rates, and you can do it without outliving your income if you do it properly. Paul, I know that was a mouthful, but really, that is the secret to retirement what's going to drive success. It's not what they invest in, but where they take the income from. Help you know, me you know, help no, them. No, <laughs> no, exactly. You know, I mean, you know, in some ways, if, if you if you heard the beginning of this show and you sort of tuned us out, you may think that we believe market volatility is a bad thing. Market volatility is not a bad thing. Drawing income out of an account that's volatile is a bad thing. So I think your, your point is exactly right on. We're not, in some, in some ways, market volatility could be a great thing as long as you're not drawing money out of that account, right? The key is asset allocation. The key is making sure you're taking your income, you're paying yourself, as you say, from accounts that have little or no volatility. If you do that, the accounts that actually are volatile that you're not drawing from over your lifetime will grow at a much greater percentage if you do this correctly. So it's not that market volatility is bad, right? It's we wanna make sure that we are taking it from the right accounts at the right time with little volatility. Paul, that's market, the key to success. 100%. Actually, market volatility provides opportunities. Totally. If you're disciplined and you have what we call pivot accounts. And what Paul said is key. But understand, when the markets are going well, we're going to pull money out of market-based investments if the portfolios are up. It's just we're going to have, I mean, a, a lot of accounts. We're going to teach in the class. These are multiple accounts. They're almost accounts they're almost buckets within buckets and i i'm getting in the weeds it's a reason why this is a master's level course and it's eight hours long because you have to navigate market volatility and taking the income from the right place and also manage taxes filling brackets not bumping brackets look market volatility helps us to roth convert at a lower rate and take the tax-free appreciation in a roth free account later if you do it properly at the right time it's eight hours it's comprehensive we're a charity. All you have to do to attend this course at the universities is make a $29 donation to charity. And we're teaching at universities all around your area and, and, and all over the country now. If you'd like to attend, go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. Much more Retirement Education Hour coming up next. This is the Retirement Education Hour. Megan Mozak alongside financial instructors Kurt Cassidy and Dr. Paul Mettler. They're both with the Retirement Education Foundation, brand new proud partners of Mizzou Athletics and also University of Missouri, the new home of the foundation's courses. These are eight-hour retirement planning courses, and we'd like to see you there. 
Here's how you can register. Go to the website, retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. These courses are taught in the state of Michigan and the state of Missouri. In Michigan, you can attend at the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, Novi and Troy campuses, or Oakland University. In Missouri, of course, the University of Missouri, Also, Columbia College, and we encourage you, go to the website, find a full list of location options, dates, and times. Find one that works for you. Get that front row seat. Can't wait to see you there. It's retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. Or call the phone number 800-240-8981. That's 800-240-8981. Also want to remind you that this very program and so many more in our library are available wherever you find your podcast. Simply search for the name of our show, Retirement Education Hour. Kirk and Paul, we've been talking about emotions, how they sometimes come to the forefront when we see all the volatility in the market, but how we need to keep that at bay, right, for a successful retirement. And earlier you were talking about buckets within buckets. Now, I trust this is a very, very complicated financial term, <laughs> right? <laughs> Buckets. Uh, but right. help me understand, what is this all about? You know, it's funny, Megan, people in our industry are, are using buckets regularly now um, in the financial service industry because the average investor or average retiree tend to compartmentalize their money. So in terms of a tool to educate the consumer, the public, bucketing is a really effective way to, to teach, frankly. And so When we teach our eight-hour courses at at the universities, these are like master's level courses, right? We teach these courses. The foundation is built on a a relatively basic four-bucket asset allocation approach. So the nuance of this strategy then, and the reason why it's an eight-hour class, is when we start drilling deeper into each of these buckets and how to properly allocate. But I'll basically break out the four buckets. We have bucket one, that's your liquidity, your money sitting in the bank, checking and savings, emergency accounts. Come to the class and we'll give you the data on how frequently throughout retirement, how often you're going to have an unexpected expense you didn't budget for. It's going to exist. So you need to have a minimum amount in there, but we don't want too much sitting in a liquid bucket, uh, liquid account in the bank for 30 years of retirement that really, really impacts the amount of income you can spend in retirement. So this is something we teach in the class. And then bucket two is bucket two is contractually guaranteed income that you can never outlive. So these are insured, guaranteed sources of income such as pensions, such as Social Security, such as you purchasing your own type of insured products. And oh, by the way, you need to come to the class to learn the good, the bad, the ugly around annuities. There are just, look, 96% of people buying annuities are wasting their money and the insurance companies are beating them. We are going to teach you about how they work, the mechanics, the numbers, where they might be applicable or not, and how to avoid, how to beat the insurance company essentially. Then bucket three, and that's the bucket everyone's most familiar with. These are your market-based investments. These are dollars that are invested in the stock market, fully exposed to market risk. These are going to be your stocks, your bonds, your ETFs. You notice I did not say mutual funds. I, I'll guarantee I'll make a two thousand dollar donation to whatever charity any of our listeners want. If after attending this eight hour course, you still want to own actively managed mutual funds, you will not. When you recognize the fees, the performance and the issues, tax inefficiency, you are not going to own actively managed mutual funds. Your net expense ratio, you're paying a lot more than that. I promise. So these are your individual stocks, individual bonds and your ETFs, your exchange traded funds. And then bucket four is legacy. Legacy does not just automatically mean your kids, if you have children, your legacy begins with the surviving spouse. And so we spend a lot of time talking about how to protect the surviving spouse. But then more importantly, remember, most of the people attending our class, they have 700 to 20 million, most between one and 10 million dollars. And the conventional way of setting up beneficiaries and doing your estate planning and your trusts and your wills, they're just wrong. The the information people, the way they're setting it up is for 
what would be considered an average baby boomer, someone who's going to only have $200,000 saved for retirement. Not someone that has two million, three million, five million. So, how to set up beneficiaries? How to use disclaiming strategies? How to protect your surviving spouse? Those are the four buckets. Bucket one: checking savings emergency. Bucket two: guaranteed income. Bucket three: stock market risk. Bucket four: legacy. It is an oversimplification where we drill in eight hours teaching you how to navigate all these buckets and utilize these in an effective retirement plan, Paul. Yeah, I mean, it, it, you said that in maybe two minutes as if it's going to be that easy. There's a lot to those four buckets. If, if I can add one additional piece. Please. Because you, you said buckets within buckets, right? So, And you, I loved what you said earlier. It, you, you really, there's a nuance to this, right? It, it gets, it's a, there's a lot to this. But if you look specifically in bucket three, and, and the bucket three is what this show is about, right? Market volatility. You could still allocate within that bucket, so that you're still, when you're taking income, take income from accounts that aren't terribly volatile. So, you know, if you need money in the first five years, you allocate a certain way. If you don't need money for, you know, for, you know, 10 years, you can allocate differently, right? So every year, depending on when you're taking money from which accounts, you have to make sure that you're allocating appropriately. And there's a science to this. And, and you know, in the class, we actually give a nice visual to show people how actually to allocate within bucket three so you don't have that sequence risk. But again, that's something you, you can only show in a class and, and why going to the class is so important. It's eight hours for a reason, Paul. There's just a tremendous amount of information. The other thing we didn't talk about is how to, you know, the, the long-term care protections. Look, if you want this simple, as everyone wants to come on TV and radio and say the simplified retirement plan, you want a simple retirement plan, go ahead. Go to the Schwab's, Fidelity's, TD's, the UBS's, the Edward Jones. Go, and they're going to give you your 3 or 4% withdrawal rates. And that's fine. You can then keep it really simple. Protect your principal, live within 3 to 4% per year, and reduce your spending during times of market volatility. But if you want 6, 7, 8, 9% withdrawal rates, then it gets more complicated. And that's what this eight-hour class is about. To register for one of these eight-hour classes in the universities, whatever area you live in, there's, there's going to be locations. You have to make a $29 donation to charity. You can register at retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. Back with Kirk and Paul right after this. Happy to be alongside financial instructors, Kirk Cassidy and Dr. Paul Mettler with the Retirement Education Foundation. This is the Retirement Education Hour. We're so glad that you've tuned in today as we've been talking about really a great topic, uh, our emotions. You know, we're human, so we're all emotional creatures, but really understanding how to keep those emotions in check as we see the ups and the downs on Wall Street. It can be a nerve-wracking experience, but you have to have really that st- steady approach so you can have a successful retirement and success in retirement is what I know we are all after and another great step towards success in retirement is attending the foundation's courses these are eight hour courses really almost like a master's level course in retirement planning and you can be there you can have a front row seat meet instructors just like Kirk and Paul go to the website retirementplanningedu.org that's retirementplanningedu.org edu.org and these courses they are expanding and we're really excited to announce another partnership this time with the University of Missouri that's right you can attend at the University of Missouri the foundation is a proud partner of Mizzou Athletics also you can attend at Columbia College if you're listening today from the state of Missouri and I know a lot of you are listening from Michigan today hello to you and if that's the case you can attend at the University of Michigan Eastern Michigan University Michigan State University two locations there Troy and Novi also, Oakland University. So head over to the website, retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. You can also call 800 240 81. And this program and so many more are in our library as podcasts. You can go find them wherever you find your favorite podcasts. Simply search for Retirement Education Hour. You can listen and share with a friend. Okay, so let's talk about income because I know income and retirement, it's on a lot of people's minds, Kirk and Paul. And is it true that the income that you expect to get in retirement, it's tied directly to the the types of investments or how you're invested in retirement? That is so false. That is so such a misconception and misunderstanding. 
again, I'm going to remind, and I've said it in multiple segments, the less you spend in retirement, everyone listening to me, I hope you're hearing us, the less you spend in retirement, the more people in the financial service industry makes. Because the less you're spending, the more the financial service industry is managing of your money. So to do comprehensive retirement planning, in our private practice, like outside of our charity, right? We're here representing charity. But in our private practices, we're responsible for billions of dollars of our clients' money. And when we build a plan for someone, we operate almost like a family office. It takes us 60 plus hours for each client we accept and take on as a new client. 60 plus hours to build the retirement plan. There is nothing simple about it. It's why the classes are eight hours in length. The financial service industry has all convinced you that their value proposition is they can invest better and smarter than you. And that's a lie. I'm sorry. That's just not true. None of them. None of them can beat the index. Just the S&P 500 over any extended period of time. No one ever has. No one ever will. The index always wins. We are believers in indexing. We're going to teach you about that in the class. But here's the deal. If you're invested in, in, in predominantly indexes with some of your money, but then you have some of your money, maybe right now it's easy, in treasuries and some of your money in corporate or muni bonds and then the index, and then you know where and when to take income from which of the investments during different market conditions that's what's going to drive your performance. It's not what you're invested in. It's not the investment performance that's going to drive your success in retirement. It is going to be the income that's going to, that you can generate that's going to drive your success. And driving your success to be able to take the greatest amount of income is making sure you're taking income from the right accounts during different market conditions. We have a great example of this, by the way. If you go to the charity's website, and you look at the sample plan. If you just look at the webinar sample plan, I think we spend 30, 40 minutes walking through actually the plan we're going to teach you in the class and how to build that. What took us 60 hours to build that plan? What you're going to see is an average rate of return, a projected, not real, but projected rate of return of just about 3%, a little over 3% over a full retirement but we're going to be able to take withdrawal rates starting at 8% and increasing throughout retirement. It's because we navigate and eliminate the sequence of returns risk by making sure we're taking income from the right accounts when the markets are down and we're taking income from the right accounts when the market's up. Paul, we're not managing the investments, we're managing the income around the markets, right? The income no, management. Yeah, no, for sure, and I think this flies in the face of all those listeners who are big stock pickers, of all those listeners who are big timing the market, you know, investors, right? They're, they're sitting here listening, thinking, you know what? Success comes from picking, finding that, you know, diamond in the rough, finding that one stock that's going to make me millions or going in the market when the market's hot and going out of the market when the market's doing poorly. So they're listening to this thinking this, everything you're saying goes against everything they think and believe, but those are people that are probably still working, right? If you're accumulating wealth and you're yes. not taking money out of the accounts, well, that's a different story, right? It's, yes. it's a different story. What Kirk is talking about is you retire and now you are self-employed, which I love, by the way, Kirk. You're self-employed and you're paying yourself. Now it's not about picking stocks. It's not about going in and going out of the market. It is all about income planning. And if you allocate appropriately, the, the crazy fact is your money's going to last longer. You will actually do better in the stock market. 100%. Over the, over the long haul if you focus on the income side and not on the stock picking side, correct? Paul, Paul why do they think, why do any of our listeners think that they can beat the, the market, the index? Kramer can't. Over the last 20 years, Kramer's underperforming the S&P 500 by over 100%. 40% of all mutual funds close within 10 years. That means 40% of money managers are closing their funds within 10 years. There has never been one mutual fund manager actively manage mutual fund one. There's never been one that's been able to stay in the top quartile, the top 25% of performance for five consecutive years. Nobody can do it. Why can you? You can't tell me, you listener right now, you couldn't tell me what percentage of the S&P 500 is energy versus healthcare versus financial services, but you think you're going to stock pick and market time your way around retirement? 
if you want that, go for it. But guess what? You can only take out three or four percent in income per year. If you want six, seven, eight, nine percent, attend one of these eight hour classes to learn how to construct in a properly effective income retirement plan. And oh, by the way, save you hundreds of thousands of dollars in taxes if you do it properly. All you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity. If you'd like to register, go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. And we'll be back. Plenty more with Kirk and Paul right after this. Glad you're with us for the Retirement Education Hour. Megan Mozak alongside financial instructors Kirk Cassidy, Dr. Paul Mettler, both with the Retirement Education Foundation and the foundation now proud partner of Mizzou Athletics, which means the University of Missouri has been added as another location for the foundation's courses. These are like master's level courses. That's why they're eight hours long. And this really the purpose is to give you everything you need to know to understand what it takes to retire successfully here in the 21st century. This is no longer about claiming Social Security and relying on uh, some money you have in a, in a savings account. It is far more complex. We believe you deserve a great retirement, and it takes careful planning. And that's why we want you to attend these courses. Here's how you register. Go to the website. It's retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. The phone number 800-240-8981. That's 800-240-8981. In Missouri, you can attend at the University of Missouri. The courses are also held at Columbia College. In Michigan, you can attend at the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, Novi or Troy Campus and Oakland University. And do keep in mind, these courses are streamed live, which means you can also attend from the comfort of your own home. Find out more at the website, retirementplanningedu.org. We're going to get back to our show now. And of course, this show and so many others in our library are found wherever you find your favorite podcasts. Simply search for the name of our show, Retirement Education Hour. So Kirk and Paul, as we've made our way through today's content, and it's been a lot, right? Really walking us through how our emotions can be a detriment as we're watching some of this volatility unfold in the market, how to keep that steady course. And the both of you say this really comes down to one thing. What is it? Any of our regular listeners, for over a decade, we've been doing the show the same way. The secret to success and income planning and a less stressful, anxiety-provoking retirement where you have control, every time we tell you the same thing, it comes down to comprehensive planning. It's not simple. Most of you listening today, uh, most of the people attending our courses is not the average baby boomer who will retire with $200,000 saved. Most of our listeners and most of the people attending our courses have $700,000 to $20 $20 million, with the majority between $1 and $10 million, okay, to have a retirement plan that gives you the freedom to have and to take income withdrawal rates of 6, 7, 8, 9% per year, meaning I'm 65 years old, I've got $2 million saved, I want $160,000 a year increasing with inflation. To be able to have that, you can't have simplicity. If you want simplicity, then follow the rest of the financial service industry's rules, which says you can only take withdrawal rates of 3 or 4%. Now, if you want to learn how to build a comprehensive plan so you can have 6, 7, 8, 9%, it's going to include every separate account scheduled out with pivot accounts to go to, to take your income from with pivot accounts to pivot to during times of market volatility. Then you have to map out from a tax perspective how to fill bucket your, your tax brackets, not bump your tax brackets, because every time you bump the bracket, you could be triggering a greater percentage of your Social Security being taxable, your dividends and capital gains being taxable. But if you can manage your taxable portion of Social Security and get yourself in the right brackets, your capital gains and your dividends aren't going to be taxable. If you anticipate what your RMDs are going to be in your mid-70s, required minimum distributions, for those keeping score at home, if you are able to project what those are going to be in your mid to late 70s, then that tells us what we should be doing now because we'll know what future tax bracket we're in to be able to manage today through the 30-year retirement to minimize your taxes over your lifetime. 
but it's it's that's why it's like a master's level course. It's why it's eight hours, Paul. It's comprehensive. Be ready if you attend the class. It's going to move fast. And we always make this guarantee, Paul, if they don't leave our course much better prepared for retirement, we'll make a $2,000 donation, whatever charity they want. And I've only had to do that once. So, Paul, talk about planning and talk. You know, we didn't get into fees, diversification. It's all part of planning, right? Yeah, you know, as I'm listening, I'm thinking, I don't think anybody, brother, is going to disagree with the idea that planning a retirement, I mean, that's not revolutionary, right? The idea that you should plan for retirement, every person that's listening is, of course, saying, of course we should. The key word you use is comprehensive. Everybody thinks they have a retirement plan. If you come to the class, I promise you, when you see an example of what a real plan looks like, you're going to look at your plan and say, you have nothing like this. Well, they can go to the charity's the- website, Paul. They can go to the charity's website and look at a sample plan. We do a webinar. Sorry, I interrupted, but no, they can no, go but right no. there and see it. Take a look. Take a look and then, and then pull out your plan. If you have if one thing, do one thing today. Go to the website. Take a look at what a comprehensive plan looks like and then pull your beautiful color-coded plan, take a look at it, and if you don't conclude just comparing those two plans that you do not have a plan, then I, then I don't know what we can do to help you. But at the end of the day, I think it's going to be so obvious that what we're talking about is an individual comprehensive plan that covers income, health care, long-term care. We didn't talk about fees, but you're going to see there's no mutual funds that we use. We're not, you know, we're not using high-cost variable annuities. There's a lot of things that we talk about in this cla- class to help you navigate right market volatility and have a comprehensive plan i encourage everybody go to the website take a look paul a plan is not a dial of probability or bar charts telling you your likelihood of your whether you're going to outlive your money when you're taking your 3.2 or 3.7 percent withdrawal rates that's crazy folks that's crazy that is the financial service industry trying to be scalable profit cookie cutter you need to learn this class is going to teach you to have the filters to know if the people that are helping you actually have the ability to provide you that comprehensive individualized plan. If you'd like to register for one of our eight hour courses being taught at many major universities in your area, go to retirementplanningedu.org. You can check out the website. All you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity, register at retirementplanningedu.org or call 800-240-8981. Retirement Education Foundation is a fiscally sponsored program of United Charitable, a registered 501c3 public charity. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Any insurance discussed in this show is backed by the financial strength and claims paying abilities of the issuing carrier. This radio show is intended for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as the sole basis for financial decisions, nor should it be construed as advice designed to meet the particular needs of an individual's situation. Retirement Education Foundation is not permitted to offer, and no statement made during this show shall constitute tax or legal advice. Our firm is not affiliated with or endorsed by the U.S. government or any governmental agency. The information and opinions contained herein provided by third parties have been obtained from sources believed to be reliable, but accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed by Retirement Education Foundation. This radio show is paid for by the Retirement Education Foundation.